Well, good evening, everybody. It's a beautiful October evening. It's probably going to be the last sunny and warm day we're going to have for quite some time. So since last night, I ran my conduit and my four gauge line to get my off-grid power line hooked up and I do not have my final connectors yet so I figured tonight I would see about moving around some of my solar panels and maybe even getting a couple more added so that I can have uh, full capacity when I get my panel switched over to my solar setup. So right now I have these five panels uh, along the ground and then four more up on the roof up there. These two metal ones are actually mounted on uh, little cross members going directly to the fence, while the other three are on basically individual stands, which separate them from the fence. Uh, the fence is not made the best, so I kind of wanted to be able to have a little more independence and not have more weight on the fence itself so what i'll look at doing is taking these these two panels off here and utilizing the uh the wood behind them because they're just sitting on the two by fours right now, uh, temporarily kind of tacked in place. So I'll pull those off, lean those up against the fence right now, and then use the extra wood to make the other stands, rack, bracing, whatever you want to call it for these other two panels. I've got one spare two by six over here, and then my stack of extra panels right now uh, on that stack there's three rows of four 100 watt panels on top and then down on the bottom i've got uh my last two 455 watt panels that i need to look at building racks for All right, should have enough wood here for at least a couple of them. I think the thing I'll have to look for, might have to get some more of, is the uh, two by six footers that I have. But for the time being, I have to lean these up against the fence because otherwise the ducks will come and poop all over them. Nice to be able to get these two in stands and then slide everything down and make room for the last two. So we'll see if we can get at least these last two done tonight. I'll have to climb underneath this rack here because I wrote my dimensions on the pieces that I built. So I've got my cuts, my angles, and all that kind of stuff but I believe that when I assembled it, 
I put my notes on the inside of this one. And you really can't see it on the camera, but right up in here, it says uh, 27 and 7 eighths, 35 degree angle. So yeah, I'll have to get in there and get the rest of my dimensions. And I think that uh, right now my wife and I are gonna be competing for the shop for all the tools because she's working on a coffee cabinet. So, you know, kind of important to have that proper place to get your coffee in the morning. All right, I crawled underneath and got my little sketch notes for my uh, braces, mounts, stands, whatever you want to call them. Um, so now I'm just going to go through and I think I've got enough that I can do at least one full one. I'll have to look through my scrap pile and see if I have a another 2x6 that I can use for the last foot. I guess worse comes to worse, I can always make one out of a 2x4 and then when I go to the store and get some more, then I'll just swap it out. That'll at least let me get two full mounts done tonight. I'll have to see if there's actually going to be enough sunlight, though, to actually put the mounts outside to where you can see on the camera. Uh, otherwise, I'll still get them out and just show you tomorrow what I did. All right, I've got almost all the pieces cut. Reusing these from my last temporary array. These will be the cross pieces that the panel actually sits on. Two of the vertical legs for the back, two for the front, and then four caps for the panel that'll hold the panel in place. And then I've got the two front and the two back for the next section. Uh, I still have to cut four more of these and then cut the skids uh, out of the... I've got one 12 foot section of two by six that I'll have to bring in here and, and cut into three foot skids. All right, I got my skids cut. I did not have another piece of the two by six treated. I just grabbed a treated two by four that I was using and cut that as my skid, and I can replace that later when I get the rest of the lumber. All right, so I'll be working on assembling the two sets of legs now. Sorry about the fan going in the background. It's my air purifier in my shop, helping to keep the dust down. All right, so here's one leg completed. You know, you can see it's a very simple design. Skid across the bottom, two vertical supports, a horizontal support that the panel sits on, and then two end caps that basically hold the panel in place. And then there'll be a couple screws and washers on the top of the end caps, just making sure the panel doesn't come down. But, uh, pretty decent, holds the panel fairly well. It also allows for 
mobility if I want to uh, raise or lower the front of the back end to get a better angle I can easily just put a piece of wood underneath the back of the front um, but my ground is so wavy that it really doesn't look good if I try to have it all one long stretch because I'll end up having one panel that's going to be significantly higher than the other end and it kind of defeats the fact that I'm trying to hide a lot of these behind my fence so you don't see all the panels and we'll get them thrown up real quick and see if we can get them put up before the sun completely sets so we didn't have some more treated two by fours to be able to use as just additional bracing for my panel supports so I had grabbed a few of my uh, two by fours that I had burned using, I think it's called uh, Shoshugi Bomb from my limited understanding of how it works. Uh, burning the wood seals it, I guess. So I had already done some of these boards already and I cut them to size that I needed, but I need to do the ends to seal them. So for these, I had used my weed burner to torch these, but because these are just small end cuts, just grab my torch and burn the ends. And even if it doesn't seal it completely, it's really more of a support so that I can get it in place because the it, it, it wants to come on square it wants to tweak the frame I guess so just torch the ends seal them all up and then I can screw them down and use them Doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, most times when I did the, the long ends, I'd burn it and then I would take my scrub brush and kind of scrape the ash off, but the char off. But I'm not too worried about this right now. All right. Take them and screw them on just like this, just to keep the base square while I put the panel on. Well, I got the racks built and got them outside. It is pretty dark and to top it off, my battery is almost dead. So I'll just do a quick change for you. Here's what it looks like beforehand, before we get them mounted. All right, we got them all racked. They have to settle in a little bit and then tomorrow I'll have to come in and square up the panels in the racks and screw my washers and screws down. But two more panels racked so then I can get the last two out. and get what I need to hang them up. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but I think once they settle in, they'll get rid of this little stair step look that you see. And then I still have to go through and do cable management underneath just to get the cables up and off the ground. Well, it's a new day and the sun decided to come out a little bit today. It's supposed to be somewhere around 70 degrees. It was rainy and nasty this morning. Uh, I 
I came out, at least when the sun was out, and got my screws and washers in place on the new mounts. They're fairly snug in the frames, but this just makes sure that they stay in there all in one piece. Well, I think that's where I'm gonna call this video. Got a lot done last night. Not as much as I wanted to. I still have the last two panels to get put in place, but I have some time before I need to get the last two in place. The AC output line will have to take over my panel before I'll really need those other panels put in place. Now, I feel the sun starting to come out again. So y'all have a great day and thanks for watching. And there's the sun.